Hi, this is Connie Miller with Five Stones Podcast. Thanks for joining me for another episode. It's a beautiful day here in Texas. It's Sunday, May 30th, 2021. I can't believe that June's almost here. It's half a year in. Boy, and we thought 2021 would be easier, right? Huh, that's a, that's a laugh, right? Well, speaking of that, I want to ask you something and give you something to think about. Do you know that God is causing you to become insurmountable? Think about that. Insurmountable. I want to discuss this word today with you. So I was thinking about hardships and trials and the things that we go through. And you know, most of us just want to skip hard times and and just run through things as fast as we can or bypass it all together. I know I do. And what we don't realize is that although God doesn't cause bad things, he uses all the bad things and allows those bad things to happen in in his wisdom to bring about good and to bring growth to us. Because when you think about it, hardships and struggles really do make us grow. And they make us stronger. And so with every hardship comes knowledge and wisdom. I know that I have more knowledge and wisdom than I had 20 years ago with all the things that I've been through, the circumstances. I mean, I'm 52 years old and and if I would not have been through some of those things, even though it was difficult going through them, I wouldn't be who I am today and I wouldn't have the character that I have today. So I want to talk to you about a particular verse and it's in Romans chapter 5 verses 1 through 5. I want to discuss this a little bit with you. It says, Therefore, since we have been declared righteous by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Now just think about that. We are declared righteous only by our faith in the finished work of what Jesus did for us, not by anything that we can add to it, just in faith alone. And so because of that, we have peace with our Father, with our Daddy. That's amazing. It goes on to say, we have also obtained access through him by faith into this grace in which we stand, and we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Now, I want to go back to the glory of God uh, in just a little bit, but think about this. We've obtained access. We can come to him anytime through faith into his grace. So what does that mean? Faith into the grace in which we stand. I say grace came in the person of Jesus Christ. Grace is a person. So we stand in Jesus. And so because of that, we can rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. And it goes on to say, and not only that, but we also rejoice in our afflictions. Rejoice in our afflictions? Now, do we? Do I? (laughs) Most times, no. Because we know that affliction produces endurance. Endurance produces proven character, and proven character produces hope. This hope will not disappoint us because God's love has been poured out in our hearts through the Holy Spirit who was given to us. So let's go back to this. So, If we can learn to rejoice in our afflictions, it doesn't mean that we have to like everything that happens to us, but rejoicing in our afflictions because we know that God is producing endurance in us because we must have endurance to produce character. And when we have good character, then our hope grows. So why does our hope grow? Because through every affliction, God proves himself to us. He proves himself faithful. He proves that he is there. He proves that he has given us everything we need and he comes through for us. And then our and then we gain endurance and we can stand firm and stand fast, knowing that our hope is in him. So when we have character, our, we know that means we have maturity. And that maturity is wisdom and knowledge. And, and because of this, we can hope in God. Because he brought us through that, we know that he's going to bring us through 
this, the whatever we're going through right now. So in every hardship, there's growth, and in growth, we become stronger and wiser. Working our way to becoming an insurmountable person. You see, a person who is insurmountable is someone who is not easily overcome. We have got to be insurmountable people. So we are not easily overcome by the circumstances that come our way. God doesn't want us tossed about every which way when things come at us. So he wants us to become an insurmountable person. Why? And the answer is very simple. He wants us to become an insurmountable person so we can overcome insurmountable things. You see, insurmountable people overcome insurmountable things. So since we are the essence of Christ on this earth, because he lives in us, would he not want to use us to be God on display? So this is what I want to talk about for a moment. I used to always wonder, okay, you hear about the glory of God. We hope in the glory of God. The glory of God. The glory of God. And I'll never forget when I got such a simple explanation of what the glory of God means. The glory of God is simply God on display. Now, because Christ lives in us, we are the glory of God. We are God on display in the earth. Do you not see? We're not, we don't need to cry out. We, yes, we cry out to God, but do we not realize that he wants his will and purposes done on the earth and to accomplish that through us? We are the glory of God on display. That's exciting. We are the manifest expression of God if we allow it, if we allow him to manifest through us. So when you think about it like this, you can understand why Paul says, I can rejoice in hardship. Because these are the very things that are creating in us to be who God purposed us to be on the earth. We need these things. We need these things. This is why when God says, you are the head and not to the tail. This is a prophecy for us, for us today. Now, that was Old Testament. And it says, if you obey my commands and you do this and you do that. Well, now we are in a new covenant. Now, see, back then you, you had to do certain things to get certain things. Now, yes, there's things that we do here if we want a certain outcome. But now we have Christ living in us. You know, we don't have to do to get we have it already. We have ev He's given us everything we need through Christ Jesus. We just need to yield to the power within us, to the Holy Spirit. That's all we have to do is yield. And he'll be the display. He'll manifest his, his presence. He'll manifest his glory. We, be God on display. I, I get so excited about it. I get twisted about it, tongue twisted. So... This makes us insurmountable people. And we are able and capable of doing and overcoming insurmountable things. We were made for insurmountable things to overcome them. We are insurmountable. So let us rejoice when we remember that when we're going through things, God is working things out of us the things that he's already placed in us. And if not for the circumstance, it would be impossible for those things to come up and out of us. I hope this makes sense to you today. I just felt I needed to give you this brief word to encourage you. God is creating you to be an insurmountable person. Do not forget this word this week. When things come at you, when you feel overwhelmed, when you feel like you cannot do things, when the world that we're living in seems like it's just all falling down in on us, you say, no, 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 no. God created me to be insurmountable, and I can't overcome any insurmountable thing that comes my way. So 
let this encourage you today and just be bold. Be who God created you to be, an insurmountable person. This is Connie Miller. You can go to my website, www.conniemiller.online. I have my books there where you can purchase. I have my on my blog, my podcasts. Go to my website to get more information about me. And share this if you like this. Encourage someone today. You are made to be insurmountable. God bless you. Have a great day.